Hi children, welcome to Eclipse Learning. So uh, this is a new uh, video playlist I have started uh, for the grade six workbook activities. So if you haven't watched my other playlist for grade six ICT textbook, uh, please go and watch it first. And then you can start watching the workbook activities. So this is the uh, chapter one of grade six ICT, importance of computers. So uh, they have given you a diagram and they are asking uh, to complete the following diagram which shows basic functions of a computer. So hope you remember uh, in the computer, first you have to give the input, then the processing will happen. Then finally you can see the output. So A will be input, B will be process and C will be the output. So these are the answers you should write. Then they're asking, select the correct answer and write the relevant English alphabetical letter in the space given. What is known as input in a computer? So input is uh, like mouse kind of a device where you can get the data into the computer system. So we'll read it and see any method which is used to send out data processed by the computer system. No. It's not sending out. You have to get the data into the computer system. Any method which is used to feed data into a computer system like the mouse or the keyboard. So the answer should be B for the first one. What is known as output in a computer? So output as we uh, read. So this is the answer. Any method which is used to send out data processed, not the data, actually it should be the data processed means information, right? So information by the computer system, that means kind of like the computer monitor or the printer, something like that, output devices, kind of. What is known as storage in a computer? So A and B is gone, anyway, the answer should be C, but we'll read and see. So these techniques remember for your exams now. For example, in these three things, B and A is already gone. So definitely answer should be C, but we'll uh, uh, verify it. Uh, so he here they're talking about storage, a method which can be used to store data, kind of a hard disk, pen drive, CDs, DVDs. Those things are used to store data. So that is actually called as storage in a computer. Answer is C here. So here they have given you the um, some uh, definitions. Input is entering data into a computer, right? And the devices which are used for that purpose, we call it as input devices or input methods. Same thing I have described. Process, the procedure of executing data in a computer according to the given instruction. So you get the data from the input devices and you uh, pro process it or uh, you execute this data in a specific order of instructions. Then we call it as a process. Output is actually after you process the uh, data, you will get information. So this information uh, is sent called, the devices used for that is called as output devices. Then comes the activity 1.2. Write three examples of input devices. I have written, for your reference, but only three is asked. Mouse, keyboard, microphone, scanner, touch screen. So all these are input devices. There you feed the data into the computer. Write three examples of output devices. So monitor, right? printer, and speaker. So hope you remember the uh, soft output and the hard output. Now monitor is giving you soft output where you cannot touch the output. But printer, you can touch the output. So that's a hard output, right? Hope you remember that as well. Identify storage devices in the picture. So they have given few storage devices and they're asking you to identify each of them. So A is an internal hard disk. Sometimes you may have not seen this in real life, but this is how the internal hard disk will looks like. And here external hard disk, the portable hard disk. C is the pen drive. D is actually these are like uh, 
discs, uh, CDs, DVDs, uh, those things, right? Blu-ray discs and all. So this is the RAM. Okay. Next one, name the devices shown below. A is a printer. B is the monitor, right? And C is the system unit. D, can you identify what is D? It's a mic actually, microphone. Then comes the E, is, is the mouse. F is the keyboard. G, there are speakers. Okay, so this is how you have to name the devices. And they are asking to categorize the above mentioned devices correctly and write it in the grid. So we had three input devices. Hope you remember mouse, keyboard, and microphone. You have to uh, get the uh, these uh, categorization should be done based on the above this one, based on this. So output devices, we had print and speaker, and the other devices is system unit is actually kind of a processing device. Then they're asking you to prepare a list of devices that can be seen in a computer lab, right? In addition to the above mentioned thing. So uh, in your lab, recall how, what are the things in the lab, school lab, maybe uh, you haven't gone to the school lab still, uh, but um, anyway, in the school uh, computer lab, you can see a scanner, right? Maybe you have a router to go to internet, right? Switches for the internet. And sometimes a web camera can be seen, CCTV cameras can be seen, uh, external hard disks, pen drives, CDs, DVDs, right? A multimedia projectors can be there. So these are a few devices you can be seeing in the uh, computer lab in a school. Then they're asking you to enter the particular list into this table structure. So what are the input devices? You have scanner and the web camera, right? Output devices, you have the multimedia projector. And what are the other devices you have? Router, CDs, DVDs, external hard disks, pen drives. Okay, next one. Write five examples of embedded computer devices that are used in day-to-day -day life. So you have washing machine, mobile phones, smart watches, modern televisions, modern vehicles. So these devices are using embedded computer devices, right? Mention three advantages of using embedded computer devices. So uh, if you think about these devices, they are definitely easy to use and efficiently you can uh, do your task, right? And actually they are mostly automated stuff, right? So uh, because in the back uh, there's a, a computer device and there are programs running, so mostly uh, they are automatic devices. So can reduce the usage of human labor. And usually these embedded devices are doing one kind of a specific uh, tasks kind of. Kind of so more specific to one task so it's very easy to design and a bit cheaper to design and uh, very less error prone also uh, because we are uh, catering only specific uh, tasks from the embedded devices so if you search this uh, in the internet you can get so many benefits of using embedded devices so i have uh, uh, listed only three here Okay, so uh, activity 1.3, describe a computer software. So computer software is a set of programs which is designed to execute a specific task using the computer, right? So usually software is intangible, you cannot touch, right? So that is the main definition of a software. And uh, when you're giving a description in the exam, especially it's, it would be better, it would be nicer if you can write some examples or show the examiner that uh, you are more having a more understand about this one. So uh, try these exam tips. So definitely you can improve your marks, right? So I have given an example operating system is a computer software. And in the next one, they're asking which, which of the following is a software. So monitor, 
is output device mouse is an input device print is an output device so operating system itself is the software right so answer is b write five examples for a computer software so you have so many computer softwares in your uh, machine web browsers which is needed to go internet computer games word processing softwares uh, video editing softwares presentation softwares so there are so many uh, uh, softwares uh, we can have like spreadsheets and uh, paid kind of uh, things and graphic uh, designing softwares so there are so many softwares like that. So you can give some examples. What is a computer hardware? So I told you software is something intangible. You cannot touch and feel, but hardware is the tangible components of a computer like the input devices, output devices. We know so many uh, computer hardware. Which of the following is an example for computer hardware? So operating system is a software, web browser is a software, data is something you feed into the computer and monitor is the output device. So that is the example for a computer hardware. Write five examples for computer hardware. So you have so many, you can write an input device, output device, system unit, monitor, mouse, pen drive, speaker, storage devices. So any of these devices, these are computer hardware. Write three examples for occasions where the computer is used in day-to-day -day lives. So think about yourself, right? You may be using to send an email, right? Now, these days, because of Corona, anyway, you are learning online learning, right? So distance learning, online learning, definitely with the Zoom meetings you are having. Uh, conference calls with your teachers and you are learning. So all these things you can write. And to write a type of report using the word processing software and do an assignment, right? To uh, surf the internet, to find information, right? So all these things, uh, you to do a paint thing. Uh, for your entertainment, for, you can listen to a music, you can watch a, a film using the computer. So these are the different occasions where you use the computer in day-to-day -day life. Think about your life and write a few. Next one. Explain two ways in which the computer can be used for agriculture. So they're asking two points, right? You can write anything uh, you want kind of in related to agriculture. I have written two things. So one thing is like computer can be used to identify the humidity, fertilizer levels, those things using the sensors, right? And then based on that, for example, the water level is uh, not good in the soil. So definitely you can supply water. If fertilizer is not enough, you can automatically supply them, right? So there are devices for this. So actually using of these devices, human labor can be reduced, which are used. And at the same time, like uh, you can reduce the wastage of water because if the enough humidity is there in the water, you don't have to supply water again and again. So it will reduce the wastage of water. If you manually do some times, you will blindly uh, put so much water. Sometimes in the other hand, if you are busy and all, you will forget to uh, put water. So then the plants will die because of lack, lack of water. So both of these problems can be resolved by using these kind of devices. Second thing I have wrote is you can use the robots and all these things uh, to uh, monitor the plant growth if any disease is detected and you record the growth uh, of a plant. And then at the same time, you can do the harvesting, especially in the large scale farms already uh, developed countries are using robots. So after the harvesting, they can even categorize uh, these harvest and for the pricing uh, decisions as well. So this is only two things. Uh, another thing you can think of is like, uh, uh, especially you can use in the internet and all these things, you can learn about the climate and uh, market patterns, the price details. You can store uh, these stock details and uh, other uh, employee details and all these things using the computer related to agriculture. Uh, so the greenhouses can be controlled, right? Using some kind of devices and all. 
so these things um, can be written. Uh, so you can search the internet and how computers can be used in agriculture, right? So on, don't write only these two answers. Uh, don't copy this same thing and write in your uh, textbook. Find some more information and write your own answer. Build up your own answer. So activity 1.4, this should be done in the classroom. So I hope uh, you can do it with your uh, class teacher. Okay, so that's the end of the first uh, chapter of the grade six. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, uh, please do subscribe and play, uh, press the bell notification as well. So you will get all the notifications when I upload a new video. Uh, and please do comment, ask any questions you have. I will uh, try to answer all your questions. So thank you very much for being with me.